What is the next challenge for ISRO after PSLV success? India has long proved its proficiency in launching the kind of rocket Prime Minister Narendra Modi saw lift off on Monday. But the country's future growth in space will depend exclusively on its success with the indigenous geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle GSLV program that is now far from reliable. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV has been the workhorse of Indian space program notching up 26 successful launches since 1994, but cannot carry communication satellites weighing more than 2,000 kg into space. This limits India's ability to compete with countries such as France or China for the multi-million dollar global satellite launch business, as well as forces it to hire foreign space firms to launch its own heavy satellites. So far, India's GSLV program is far from perfect, having been successfully launched only once using a home-built cryogenic engine after more than a decade of setbacks, the repeated failure of the program saw GSLV being termed as the naughty boy of ISRO. In January this year, Indian Space Research Organization ISRO successfully launched GSLV D5 using its indigenous cryogenic technology, putting it on the map of a select club of nations that can launch heavy satellites. But experts see it as just the first step in the direction of developing a reliable launch system for the delivery of heavy satellites into different orbits. We must build on this success to become proficient in GSLV launches as well, feels one of the ISRO scientists. According to him, still India is far from being able to deliver payloads weighing 4,500 to 5,000 kilos. For Indian space scientists, that goal is now being worked upon. Besides developing the GSLV MK2, which has comparatively low payload capacity, ISRO is developing the GSLV MK3 launch vehicle which is expected to deliver payload weighing 4,500 to 5,000 kilo. Stay tuned for more.